what is the bank stand? Listen. What's going on, boxing fans? It's Kenneth SB Unboxing. You can visit us on the web at www.sbunboxing.com. Firm request to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're here to talk about some boxing. Yes, we are. Um, let's talk about Miguel Cotto. You know, we just discuss boxing. That's it. Have a little wine, have a little drinks and stuff like that at the Boxing Genius house. Watching the boxing fights live. Having discussions. Post-fight, pre-fight. And fight predictions. We give our fight predictions. And we're pretty accurate on, on SBN Boxing as far as the fight predictions. Um, but Miguel Cotto. Let's talk about Miguel Cotto. A lot of people are wondering what's going on with Miguel Cotto. Who's Miguel Cotto going to fight next? He put on a great performance against Delvin Rodriguez. Guess what? He should have had that performance against Delvin Rodriguez. Regardless on what trainer he had. He got rid of Pedro Diaz. He lost against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Back-to-back -back losses. He lost against Austin Trout and took on Delvin Rodriguez. Put on a great performance against Delvin Rodriguez in Orlando in the NY Arena. SBM Boxing was in the building. But that was good times. Good times. Got a little too drunk, but still. And still... Um, good time. Miguel Cotto, Miguel Cotto looked like Miguel Cotto, you know. Was it because he fought Delvin Rodriguez? Who knows? But anyways, he, he has to take on two opponents next year. He's going to continue to fight. He has to take on two opponents next year. Um, who's in two opponents? A lot of people, it's, it's either Sergio Martinez or, um, Saul Canelo Alvarez. And big boy Richard Schaefer, that's the man right there. Richard Schaefer is the man. He put Miguel Cotto in, in, in a bad, bad predicament. He put Miguel Cotto in a good predicament, but he put Miguel Cotto like, look, I know that you're, 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 you're gearing towards Sergio Martinez. I get it. I get it, and I understand. But money talks and bullshit walks. Guess how much Richard Schaefer went ahead and offered this man? Yeah, just, just take a lucky guess. He offered him $10 million. He offered him $10 million. He said, look, Miguel. Look, Miguel. Look. Showtime is one to pay, pay, you know, pay the bills. I want you to fight Canelo Alvarez March 8th. We gotta, got to do it. And he proposed. Richard Schaefer from Golden Boy Promotions. Yes. He is Golden Boy like Mayweather said. <laughs> Mayweather's funny. There's a motherfucker makes me laugh. Um, um, anyways. It's going to be a pay-per-view showdown. He wants for him to take on uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez. That's going to be a good fight. Um, Sergio Martinez, Sergio Martinez. It's, both of them are going to be a good draw. Re regardless if it's Sergio Martinez or Miguel Cotto, but Puerto Rico versus Mexico always makes great fights. What's my fight prediction on that one? If Miguel Cotto fights Canelo Alvarez, you know what? Canelo Alvarez, you're going to be in some problems. That's going to that's gonna be a hell of a fight. That's going to be a good fight, and I think Miguel's going to give Canelo a run for his money. But even though Canelo's the future of boxing, he's a hell of a fighter. But I think Miguel Cotto's left hook, and yeah, he's gonna, he's definitely gonna. All I know is Canelo Alvarez doesn't want to go toe to toe, toe to toe with Miguel Cotto. He doesn't want to do it. But then again, Canelo has some heavy ass hands. Canelo's a good fighter, but I don't want to say. I just, uh, 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 shit, that's gonna be a good fight. I would love to see that fight. That'll be a war. That'll definitely be a war because Canelo's a badass motherfucker. He's good as shit, even though he put on a bad performance against Mayweather. But still, um, you know, Cotto's not going to run. Cotto's going to stand on brawl. And that's Canelo's, Canelo's good at that. You know, Canelo has power. Cotto has power. That's just going to be an even matchup. And that's going to be a good matchup. Sergio Martinez versus Miguel Cotto. I think Sergio Martinez will beat Miguel Cotto. I think Sergio Martinez will completely outbox Miguel Cotto. And he's not going to make it a slugfest. And he's a versatile fighter but you know Sergio Martinez is getting old so you just never know you know you never know after the surgery what type of what type of fighter Sergio Martinez is you know but um, if Sergio Martinez takes his fight then kudos to Sergio Martinez he's not pulling a fucking Andre Ward and and taking on a bum um coming off a of surgery like that he's not ducking and dodging anyone Sergio Martinez doesn't duck he doesn't dodge I give him credit for that Miguel Cotto doesn't duck and dodge, and I give him credit for that. I completely give him credit, you know, and Andre War is number two pound for pound. What the fuck? Come on, man. That's crazy. He hasn't fought anybody. Andre Ward's a good-ass fighter, but damn, man, I'm tired of fucking people sitting there saying, you know, Andre War's the best fighter of uh, in our generation. The fuck? Are you kidding me right now? Anyways, um, um, 
Oh, what's another good fight? Another good fight's coming up. It's, it's Frotch versus Groves. That's actually happened in the following. Them, these, they, these guys are fighting in Manchester. I like watching Carl Frotch fight. I, I don't know who... I, I really don't know George Groves. I probably watched the dude fight like one time and one time only. Um, but I'll tell you what, the, the, the dude's cocky. He's, he's, com you know, he's, he's cocky. He's confident. He's definitely thinking that he's going to beat Carl Frotch. Um, but Carl Frotch, you know, you know, it's 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 going to be a situation. He's going to fight in Manchester. He's going to be a situation that um, that 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 Groves, you know, it's is basically sink or swim. We're going to find out against a world title fighter, you know, if 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 he he has what it takes, you know. Carl Frotch is putting his WBA. He's going to put the IBF super middleweight title on the line. Uh, it's going to be a twenty third. It's going to be the, the following Saturday. Um, but Groves, Groves is undefeated. Nineteen fights. Who did he fight? He fight no. He fought nobody. He hasn't fought anyone, you know, whatsoever. I think he he changed management teams. He's, he's having problems with his manager or whatever. He actually switched management teams or whatever. Frotch, Frotch, he has some losses. He has two losses underneath his belt. And Andre Ward is is one of them. But Andre Ward has nothing. He has nothing, you know, he, he beat him United's decision. He beat him on the scorecards, but it was a good fight. It was a definitely good fight. Um, but other than that was my fight prediction. But that, I think Frotch has it. You know, I think Frotch is going to... Um, completely outwork outbox and 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 show show groves um the real deal he's he's definitely going to show him what, what what time it is but anyways guys this is kenneth sp unboxing miguel cotto man i want i want to see miguel cotto fight i want to see him fight sergio martinez i want to see him fight canelo alvarez next year i really want to see canelo alvarez versus uh, miguel cotto that that's definitely the fight that i want to see I want to see that. I definitely want to see that. And and Victor Ortiz has been talking a lot of shit about Canelo Alvarez, by the way. Victor Ortiz was just like, oh, you know, all I got to say is, you know, my fight with Floyd Mayweather Jr. is a lot more interesting. So I definitely want to go ahead and take a rematch against Floyd Mayweather Jr. And I'll definitely do a better job than Canelo Alvarez. But you know what? Like, what's that movie in, in Coming to America? Boy, I do have a point. Boy, I do have a point. But have you seen that part of the fucking barbershop or whatever? But anyways, um, Victor Ortiz does have a point. Uh, Victor Ortiz definitely does have a point. Victor Ortiz did make the fight a little bit more interesting than Canelo Alvarez did. I tell you that. I know I'm going to piss a lot of people off. I hope I don't piss off Mexican people because you know what? Victor Ortiz is Mexican. Claim it or don't claim it, but it is what it is. Victor Ortiz's fight was definitely uh, a lot better fight. But then again, it ended in a, in a, a messed up fashion. Um, but it was it was a better interesting fight than Canelo Alvarez. Um, so I definitely see Canelo Alvarez. Victor Ortiz is probably selling the fight, just talking shit, so he can get in the ring against Canelo Alvarez. That's smart. That's definitely smart. Um, but anyways, guys, this is Kenneth SB Unboxing. Friend request, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Miguel Cotto versus Sergio Martinez. What's your prediction on that one? I think Sergio Martinez is going to beat Miguel Cotto hands down. Um, Sergio Martinez against Canelo Alvarez, that's definitely a good fight, but I think Canelo's going to get caught. He's definitely going to get caught. He's definitely going to get caught by Miguel Cotto. Um, uh, what do you think about Frotch versus Groves? You think Groves can definitely pull off the upset victory on that one? Um, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, friend request, have a good one.